Hi, next to me is Jeffy Buckers from, where you come from? Um, born in Germany, um, born as a US citizen, um, lived over here for the most part uh, for the first half of my life and then the other half in Nashville, Tennessee and in London, England as well. Great. Back in Germany now, since uh, been back here now for two years Great. in Germany. And where do you like it most? Oh, good question. <laughs> I, I'm, I get that question quite a bit. Um, I love it here, I love it over there. It's I'm always torn. Okay. Always have been, always will be. Tell us a bit about your music. What kind of music do you play? I live and love country music. Um, that's been part of my life ever since my late teens. Um, I heard Hank Jr. back then, the Born to Boogie album, and um, ever since then I'm just hooked. And that was one of the main reasons for me to go over to Nashville as well back then. And yeah, I spent about 10 years back then over in Nashville, got into the songwriting scene and everything, which was great, um, great experience. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just country. Okay. I do other stuff as well. Um, I always say, um, there's for me, there's only two kinds of music, either good or bad. Yeah, right, that's right. And <laughs> either I like it or I don't. Yeah, So that's good. What was your greatest highlight last year? Last year? Um, last year, let me think. Last year was, oh yeah, of course. Um, I won first prize at the um, International Country Music Awards Great. last year at uh, Pullman City down in Bavaria um, as a solo artist. Great. And that was that was November last year. That was the highlight, really. Oh, nice. So, yeah. I've been in Pullman City too. I love it there. Yeah. Yes, in Bavaria. Yeah. An artist has many tasks, such as singing, recording, touring, interviews. What do you like most? What is your favorite activity? Being on stage, performing. <laughs> That's um, the stage is my home. That's my living room. Wherever the stage might may, uh, may be. That's where I feel most comfortable. <laughs> you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you think about today's music industry? In general? In general. Or just in Germany? Everywhere. Everywhere. It's it's complicated. I mean, there's, there's a lot of great things happening um, with since the birth of the internet, obviously. Um, that opened up quite a few doors for independent musicians, I think. Um, I really like what's going on there. I don't like a lot of things that are happening on the internet as well, as far as music is concerned, yeah, yeah. because a lot of people are being ripped off, yeah. um, and the big companies, obviously, they, they try to always, you know, put their big money behind their artists and everything and push everybody else away. Um, but I mean, you know, if you are able to get your music somewhere out to a bigger audience. Um, I think a lot of independent artists artists stand a much better chance today than they have, let's say, 20 years ago. When I was still, for example, here in Germany, there was no internet back then, or, okay. or it just got started. And um, the only promotion really that you could do um, was, you know, touring and being on stage and, you know, mm -hmm. trying to get get a bigger fan base that way. So, but nowadays, you know, you can do quite a bit more. Okay, and what do you think about Germany? Is it different from the other? From I think it's quite different over here. What I um, have found out over here, which already started happening back then, 20 years ago, was um, there's different um, groups, especially in the country music scene, um, and they don't work together. They against work against each, each other, yes, that's right. and that's the one part that I just don't like. And I try to be break down the barriers with other musicians that I get to know and everybody and everything, um, and just do our own thing. You know, yeah. do work for the musicians yeah. and not for those different groups. Yeah, that's right. You know, so that's what I stand for. You know, and then I like to break down those barriers if, if like at all that. possible. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if you had a chance to change something about the music industry, what would it be? Ooh, <laughs> good question. Good question. Um, difficult. Very difficult. Um, it depends on which points you're looking from, really. Um, for example, in Nashville, um, as a songwriter, for example, it's really, really hard to get your foot in the door. 
um, even though if you are in Nashville and all that. Um, that's one thing that I'd like to see broken down a little bit as well. I mean, all the big record labels, whatever, they have their certain publishing companies that they turn to and in order to get into um, or get with a publishing company, you know, they have so many artists already um, under contract or whatever. Um, it's, it's hard to get a foot in the door with the publishing company and it's pretty much impossible to get a foot um, in the door with the record companies or with the artists, you know, you have to be really, really lucky. Yeah. You have to be at the right time with the right song. Or the right you connections. Know, or the right connections, <laughs> yeah. especially, exactly. And it's, it's hard. Um, so, you know, but what to change there is, you know, it's hard, I think, you know, to, to, to answer that. I mean, because if you break the whole system down, you know, that's not good either, no. you know, because then you have some of the greatest songs, you know, yeah. you won't hear them anymore, yeah. you know. And it's, I mean, the one thing I don't like, most of all, is that it's the music business, yeah. you know, that it's all about the money and not so much about about the songs or the artists or the songwriters or whatever. Um, if it could be more about the music and less about the business, you know, yeah, but that's, that's the point. Yeah. Um, but obviously, I mean, you know, musicians have to make money as well, you know, so, um, but at the moment, or for the last, whatever, a few decades, it's been driven by the money and not by the music. Yeah, and right. that's the one part that I don't like. Yeah. Me either. <laughs> I hardly try to ask, but I have to. <laughs> who, inspires, who inspired you in music and how deep are your music roots? Um, well, I've been listening to music ever since small, since I was tiny and I started singing when I was, you know, whatever, three, four years old. Um, influences were big influence to this day still, the Eagles, um, Simon and Garfunkel, that was some of the first stuff that I ever played. Um, obviously my dad was an influence as well, even though he wasn't here at the time. Um, not so much with the stuff that he was successful with over here. Um, what most people don't know that he had um, pretty good success already over in the States before he ever came to Germany um, with his um, rock and roll group basically back then, the Dell Vikings. Um, so I was heavily influenced by rock and roll or before it was rock and roll rhythm and okay. blues, you know, that was a big influence to me as well. Um, Later on, especially in country, Hank Jr., Garth Brooks, obviously, Dwight Yoakam, um, Randy Travis, Travis Tritt, a um, lot of good people, and I cannot name them all, but all those songwriters back over in Nashville, huge influence. And, I mean, I pick up a little piece of everybody, you know, whoever I like, you know, they are inspiring me every time you know I mean there's there's a lot of great people here as well now um, where I you know when they play something original or whatever you know that I just love you know and um, it's it's the songs it's not so much the people it's the songs you know it's what does Jeffrey do when he has time off and try to relax what do you do make music <laughs> it's it's my life I mean um, I have a regular daytime job as well um, but whenever I come home or whatever I listen to music I try to write music or I'm recording or something with the music or I try to because I do everything by myself you know I, pr I produce myself I record myself um, I make all the public relations stuff and everything everything by myself so there's there's a lot to do a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work and um, you know I, I always have music on my mind sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night I have a song in my head you know and then I get up and start to write and whatever you know when, when it's there it's there you know you can't change it so music that's okay. that's all really what do you think about today's music scene versus the past and where do you see it in the future another good question very good questions um, the music scene in the past was, um, I really 
think a lot of times, you know, I would have liked to live in the 50s and 60s. Okay. Because everything was much easier back then. Because, like I said earlier, the business part mm -hmm. was not so much there. You know, it was mainly about the music still back then. Um, today, like I said, you know, it's, it's the business. Um, it's about the money, you know. Mm -hmm. And I like that song by, I don't even know who, who did it. Um, it's not about the money, 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 you know, that one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that one. I really like that song. So, um, but I mean, compare, comparing music scene back then to today, um, it's, it's changed because of the money, obviously. Um, and, you know, sales have gone up and everything and promotion and blah, blah, blah. That whole stuff has come up um, and gone up. And um, that's the biggest difference for me. You know, okay. but I mean, also today you have a much bigger variety of music, yeah. obviously, because of that and because of the internet as well and all that. Okay. So, but you know, I would have. I always thought, you know, when, when I was little already, I, I would have liked to live in the fifties. You know, fifties going into the into the sixties, that would have been great. That would have been fun. It was a nice, nice, quite a nice time. Then. Yeah, yeah. Is there an interesting story about you you want to share with us? Oh, in tons, country music. Tons, tons. No, I don't um, even have time. Um, <laughs> well, um, my one of the biggest things that happened for me in Nashville back then was um, me and my songwriting partner back then. We won a songwriting competition in Nashville um, that was hosted by the NSAI, which is the Nashville Songwriters mm -hmm. Association which I'm also a um, coordinator for here in Germany now. Um, so I'm still in touch with Nashville. Anyhow, so we won this um, competition back then. And uh, the prize for winning that was a, um, a interview on WSM Radio 650, the AM station, the home of the Grand Ole Opry. Okay. Um, so we did this live interview back then um, in the middle of the night and it was broadcast worldwide, you know, WSM. And um, the DJ at the time, he liked us so much that that 30 minute interview turned into two and a half hours live on the air and we played most of our songs and everything and had a great um, show, great chat with him, you know, and we, we just had so much fun. And that's, that's what's really important to me as well, you know, you have to have fun, you know. I, I see it, you are full of music and you, you can see it in your, in your face, yeah. you tell things, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah. The last question, what would you say to young artists that start in country music right now, what would you tell them? Here in Germany? Everywhere. Everywhere. Because, uh, we are keep at it. Keep at it. Keep doing it. You know, just um, keep whatever you do. You know, if you're if you're a singer, if you're a performer, if you're a guitar player, writer, whatever, just keep at it. You know, just keep going. I mean, I've been doing this now for 35 years or something. Just keep at it. You know, just keep doing what you love. You know, just put your heart and soul into it. Have fun with it. That's the most important important thing. You know, you have to enjoy what you're doing. You know, um, because if you if you don't have fun anymore, you know, then why do it? You know, yeah, you have to have fun. You know, have fun at it, and then just keep keep going. You keep know, going, yeah. don't listen to some of the naysayers and then people that oh, you know, you're not good because they might have other. Um, influences or other things that they want to promote or whatever you know just keep at it and you know get to learn and get to know other people learn people's other people's songs you can learn so much from from songs themselves you know and just keep going you know just okay. keep on doing it thank you very much you're welcome i hope you're welcome. to hear more about you yeah <laughs> i hope so too <laughs> thank you <laughs>